All right, so here's the video of the power wagon I have for sale. Make sure I got a good view of it. Um, surprisingly enough, move back so you can hear me a little better. Surprisingly enough, this thing hasn't been started since uh, February. And with a little bit of priming, uh, the battery was still good. Uh, crunk over for about four seconds. Um, prime and hit the uh, cylinders and it started right up. Uh, and it's been running for about maybe five to seven minutes now uh, since I've been getting my camera ready uh, to do this video. But anyways, here it is uh, with a big ugly chrome bumper on it 1954 N37 power wagon uh, we'll do a walkthrough on the tires very well. Might be a, oh, we'll go over to this one. It's a better look maybe. Both these tires have about the same amount of tread on them. Um, it's past my whole, my whole fingernail here. So I don't know, half inch of tread on the front. Back tires are done. Probably the biggest, uh, worst, I would say, well, the, uh, the only, the only big rust issue with the truck, the doors. As you can see, uh, outside panels are pretty much shot. Haven't looked into getting them repaired yet, but I did find a pair on a blog. I think he wanted like $100 for the whole door assembly. Step rails underneath here, where you're. Uh, I don't. I don't know what, what is it. Uh, I'm not sure what that's called. There's a name for it, but it's all intact. There's no rust. Floorboards are all very solid. There's the dash. As you can see, the hinges for the windshield. Uh, they're all intact. Lock in 
plays very well. Uh, it's the area that needs work. And when it's just the glass, the frame is definitely in great shape. The glass area, these, this is plexiglass, but um, the inside glass, the frame, there's a frame on this side. And, um, but the frame does look like it's in good shape that I can see. I, you know, I mean, I, I would say that it is in good shape. Uh, I've never restored one of these, but so I can't, uh, can't give a professional opinion, but you know, working with metal as a welder, uh, it's definitely in good shape in my opinion. Here's where the battery is. Like I said, it's been sitting for months, crunked right up inside the battery box. Uh, no rust, everything's very solid. Put the seat down, this makeshift crappy seat here. And you can see behind here, even down where water usually collects. Everything's in great shape. Just needs some love. Uh, well, here's an area. I mean, this it's kind of typical of thin metal like this, but uh, underneath, inside the box, I doubt you can see in there, but it's all solid. Exhaust systems garbage mufflers just kind of hanging off but it's still purring like a kitten tires in the rear trash I think I mentioned that in the ad but I still drive around on them just around the neighborhood of course I don't have it tagged yet uh, this might be a little bit I mean a little bit of a body issue but uh, we're talking about a truck that Kind of was meant to be beat up. A little bit of surface rust here. But. No tailgate. Makeshift tailgate. And I guess we can get up in the bed. Ugh. Bed is very solid, even underneath. I don't know. I guess uh, somebody must have coated this pretty well, but everything's very solid. They just don't make uh, make make automobiles with metal this thick anymore. That's why this truck's so awesome. This is the fuel tank. Uh, I don't know who came up with that idea, but it works. I haven't changed it yet. That's how I bought it. <clears throat> I guess this will give you a pretty good view of what the, uh, the whole cab looks like. Got the grenade shifter. Not my idea. That's how I bought it. These little makeshift supports just to hold the tarp up, keep the water out of it. This side's all really solid. Uh, Tank's not there. Tank is out of it. I did clean the bottom of this thing up really well. Pressure washed it. Um, oh. All right, as you can see, uh, step rail on this, solid. All underneath here, solid. 
and the other door which like I said here's the problem this one's probably better than the other one but still garbage if you ask me but replaceable and I believe this is a this is the option for the um, the driver door mounted spare tire uh, the mount goes on these bolts can't really see that can you all right there we go so the mount goes on those bolts and then uh, mounts to this there's a handle inside that uh, unhooks the spare tire that swings out with the door. All right, uh, let's take it for a drive. All right, well, here we are. Uh, just put some air in the tire. I keep those tubes inflated otherwise these old tires in the back, uh, <clears throat> they will fall apart. Are decent they got to keep them pumped you got to keep these brakes pumped uh, they're all drum they're original they suck but uh, hey 